Yeah. And by the way, if any of you are talking back there, cursing me or whatever, it picks it up. Okay. All right. Uh, so I think I said net ionics and electrolytes. I love that <laughs> Electrolytes. Split this into two basic categories, good, bad, uh, slash non, some are non-electrolytes. Good electrolytes are things that are aqueous, uh, strong acids, strong bases. Bad electrolytes are things like solids, liquids, gases. Uh, weak acids and weak bases. Note that weak acids and weak bases are aqueous, so those are your only exceptions, but this is how I can break down the electrolytes. For yourself. Okay, so that's the key to do net, net ionic equations. Let me see if I can make up one here. Um, H, no, I don't have that one. HClO4, perchloric acid. Make sure you know your names. Uh, perchloric acid plus uh, yeah. sodium uh, hydroxide. So when you write this out, you'll say, okay, what's aqueous, what's not? Well, if you look at this, this is a strong acid, and this is a Strong base, are they aqueous? Yeah, these would be aqueous. You put it in water, they definitely dissolve. Your strong acids, strong bases are going to dissolve in water. Okay, so that means that you can write them as such. Oh, let me get a little bit more mood lighting. Okay, so you can write them as H plus ClO4 minus Na plus. OH minus. Does anybody need to know how to figure out if something's a strong acid or strong base? Yes. Table 5-1 in your textbook. <laughs> Look at that, remember it. There we go, you need it in 2B as well. It lists about five strong acids and five strong bases. If it's not on there, it's weak. That's it. That's how you know. Okay? So, uh, then you write the products. This is going to be a double replacement or also called a Blank reaction. You have an acid and a base, it's called a neutralization reaction. So we'll do a double, same as a double replacement. HOH, which is also known as water, plus NaClO4. HOH, what's its uh, state? Liquid. Water is always going to be a liquid. Okay, and this one right here. Uh, you need to use your solubility rules. We'll get that on the exam. Uh, you'll see on the first bullet of the solubility rules, anything with sodium is going to be aqueous. So you don't need to have that memorized, but you need to know how to use your solubility rules. So that's aqueous. That means this one will also split up, and it's called a salt. Okay? If you have a metal with a non-metal, uh, first we call it ionic, but it's also called a salt. So sodium plus ClO4 minus the per chlorate. And uh, then you just cancel on both sides what you cancel. Sodium cancels, chloride cancels, and everything is left over. So we have H plus, aqueous. Anything that has a charge, you're going to put as aqueous unless it's electron. Okay, so if it has a charge, you're going to write it down as aqueous. Goes to water as a liquid. And this is your net ionic equation. Okay, so make sure you're comfortable writing those. Uh, if it is a strong, or what I wrote here, good electrolyte, it will split up into its ions. If it is a bad or non-electrolyte, it will not do this. That's how you tell. Water is a liquid, and liquids are bad or non-electrolytes, and so they do not split up into ions. So that's why water was not split up. But other, everything else aqueous, unless it's a weak acid or weak base. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that table of strong acid, strong base won't be on the final. Yeah, I kind of forgot right now, but I'm pretty sure it will not be. Okay? Alright, next, once we push the button to stop that, 